obviously I'm bringing you with me, but today I'm going to Venice. So excited. I definitely don't have time for this because it takes an hour to get to the airport and we're running pretty late. So I'm off, let's go. It's actually really annoying that Manchester Airport have introduced this new like charging system if you want to drop people off. You've got to pay like two, three pounds. If you ever do come to Manchester Airport, drive to the Crown Plaza, then you can just get out. Top tip, Manchester Airport. I'm gonna go with the mask. <laughs> if I can get it on. See you soon. new rules apparently you're not allowed to film in the airport some lady in a shop just said it's to protect them I will be with you soon five pounds so apparently new rule you're not allowed to wear your own face mask so you either pay five pounds in the machines or you ask politely someone will give you one It is hot. Woo. I don't think I've ever seen an airport this quiet in my life. It's like deserted. So just five minutes walk out of the station, follow the signs around and it'll take you to the water transports, taxis, water taxis. I think if you want to get a private one yourself, it'll cost between 100 and 150 euros. So if you can find a hotel that includes it, you're winning. So I've got maybe a 10, 15 minute wait. So I'm stood in the sun, of course, because I want to maximize the amount of tan that I get because I'm obsessed with tanning. Never use a sunbed though. How you doing? You good? It is beyond hot. Like, I don't think you understand. I look like I've got out of the shower. Don't ever wear black clothes in Italy in summer. Just don't do it. got to be the coolest way I've ever got to the hotel in my life. On a boat, water taxis, get one. Wow, so this room is gorgeous. It's so, so big. Let's go upstairs. I mean, look, this is interior design done properly. Sick. Sick. This place is amazing. And you guys are probably wondering from the title of this video, how I managed to stay in hotels like this and travel for free. Well, if you stick around in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I do it and how you guys at home can do it as well. But first I need to go and have a shower because I stink of aeroplanes and I'm absolutely dripping wet. Look at the state, sweating and stinking out this beautiful fresh room. Let's go shower. So I just showered and now I'm gonna go and get some photos of the hotel because it's golden hour sort of thing. I think that's what photographers call it. And then I'm gonna go and do a little bit of exploring of Marana, which is where I'm staying. random thing. Seems to be a marathon. Okay, they're just walking. But just behind where all those runners, marathon runners, walkers even, started their event is the Basilica de Santa Maria something. Seventh century building. And yeah, it looks very, very old. So 
let's talk about why you probably clicked on this video for the title or if you're a subscriber thank you for you know tuning in again if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing hit the red button below now you guys at home I know a lot of you are photographers videographers maybe web designers even if you're a graphic designer it's all about identifying what you can potentially bring to the table and how a hotel if it's a hotel, maybe an airline, travel agency, how can you potentially bring something to the table and benefit them? So if you look at a hotel's website and maybe it needs some updated photos, it needs some nicer stock images for their website, maybe it needs a better website being built for them and you maybe have a nice template which you can just throw together. And what you should do is start reaching out to these hotels, send a little proposal together, say that you're gonna be in the city, maybe if they can comp you two to three nights and in exchange, you will offer them maybe 20 to 30 really great photos of their hotel. If you're a videographer, maybe you can give them, you know, a nice promo video for their hotel. And in my case, obviously I offer some Instagram photos some Instagram stories. This has been the first time as well that I've actually offered some photos for the hotel so they can use on their website and for their social media. So when you do this, it is all about asking yourself what value you can potentially bring to the hotel that you're collaborating with. Because at the end of the day, that's what they need to know. They need to know how are they benefiting from you staying in their hotel for free. This is actually my first time working with the Hyatt Group, which is super exciting because they're a very big hotel chain. So I'm going to try and go above and beyond with what I can deliver for the Hyatt. And you guys should make sure that you do the same. But anyway, I do hope that's been helpful. Let's continue checking out Murano. This dish was recommended by the chef. It's got fresh tomatoes, sea bass, and cream, and balsamic vinegar. I mean, it's presented nicely. I just don't think there's gonna be enough food there. Let's try it. It's really good. The Italians do it better. My favorite thing about Italian food, fresh bread, olive oil, balsamic vinegar. Dip the bread in, it's so good. to do it and it looks delicious. Mm, the cheese is just different now. Wow. So we're back in the room. I've had a nice day. It's been really enjoyable here in Murano. Fresh fish with the pasta. The pizza was good. It wasn't Domino's though. I feel bad saying that. I know a lot of Italian people are gonna go crazy at me now on this vlog. But guys, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it has brought you guys some value and also some insight as to how maybe you at home can maybe branch out to do some traveling and also curtail some of your expenses through working and collaborating with some hotels and potentially even restaurants. If this video has been helpful, please hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit the bell button to get notified and I'll see you next week.